on today's Pro Presenter Show brought to you by ChurchTechU.com. How to use the multi-screen module and alpha key hardware together. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you with Renewed Vision Software Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about Pro Presenter, this channel has the largest selection of Pro Presenter tutorials around, over 100. And we've covered nearly everything about Pro Presenter, and I'm thinking anytime now we're going to hit every last feature you could with ProPresenter. I can only think of two or three that I haven't covered. So by all means, subscribe to that so that the next time you're at church and someone says, hey, can ProPresenter do that? You could say definitively, yeah or no, as opposed to, I don't know. Just by subscribing and following along these videos, you can know. So, there's been some controversy online about whether you can use the alpha key module and the multi-screen module together. In fact, I've heard some people uh, saying that they've gotten mixed answers from Renewed Vision themselves. So, in a previous video, I showed you that it was possible with the uh, using NDI. So, this time I wanted to show you if it was possible with hardware, like the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio 4K, the Ultra Studio HD, those kinds of pieces of hardware. Unfortunately, I don't own those. So how did I get around that? Well, we're going to head over to my church and take a look. As you can see, now I am in ProPresenter. I've already demoed the modules. So we're ahead on that. So now if we go into Preferences, you'll notice that I have the multi-screen module up. I've got it selected for dual screen because I have a dual head to go. I have this two setting that I created up where I have um, on the left-hand side, I have the regular kind of template and on the right hand side I have the lower third template but that's the exact same information on both of them they're just formatted differently so now when I go into the HDSDI module you'll see that what I've done is I've already set it up but I'm going to show you what I did so in here when you first uh, set it up you'll have it'll be disabled and you'll need to check Ultra Studio 4K. So once you do that, then you'll also need to change the resolution to what you're using. In this case, I am in fact using uh, 720p 59.94. Uh, audio system and device really doesn't matter all that much. And the alpha key module, uh, I have that set to external key. Internal key is if uh, it's happening inside of ProPresenter as opposed to in the video switcher. So I've got that set up. Blend scooted all the way to the right so that the part that is opaque in the alpha key will actually remain opaque. Of course if I wanted it to be somewhat translucent I could slide that over. Uh, check mark here for ignore background colors which ignores this black. So I've got that set up I've got the multi-screen module set up. So again, how do I tell uh, which of these two outputs the Ultra Studio 4K says? Well, we go back to display and counterintuitively it's these guys. So by default it's in the middle and if we look at the video that I'm about to show you you'll see that it's split 
right down in the middle. Now, if I had a triple head to go, that would be the middle screen, but I've got a dual head to go, so it's sending out the middle between the two. So if I want the left one, I can just click on the left one here, and that shows up. If I want the right one, I click on the right arrow there, and that shows up. You can't really see it well, because I'm shooting this on my iPhone, but that's how that does it. So it works with using both the multi-screen module and the alpha key module at the same time, uh, whether you're using the Ultra Studio 4K, the Ultra Studio HD, etc. if you want to do that with hardware, or you can do it with the NDI as well. So that's how you do it in ProPresenter 6. So as you can see, it acts exactly the same as when you're using NDI. You just select the Ultra Studio 4K or whatever hardware you're using to send your alpha channel out of ProPresenter. If you like this content, I think that you'd like the free mini courses that I offer. For example, this video will be a part of the ProPresenter hardware course, so to get the free mini version of it, head over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number six, hardware mini, and then you can subscribe to that one. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com. Go out and change eternity. How to use the multi-screen module with the alpha key module and a hardware switcher. Not good. Take two. How to use the alpha key module and the multi-screen module with a hardware switcher is exactly what I said last time. So as you can see, it uh, acts exactly the same as the Ultra Studio. What's wrong with me? Take two then you need to subscribe to this video. Or uh, subscribe to the channel. Why is this not working? Okay.